I'm the Doctor. Hi, I'm Terrell. People have been falling in love with Doctor Who since 1963, and the basics are actually super simple, and once you get them, you'll adore this show as much as I do. Doctor? Doctor Who? Doctor Who is about a time-travelling alien called the Doctor, and they're, well, I'll let them introduce themselves. I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. I'm from the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Casterburus. I'm 903 years old and I'm the man who's going to save your lives and all 6 billion people on the planet below. That bit about saving everyone's lives? Yeah, that's the Doctor's whole vibe. They don't mean to be a hero. I am not a good man. They really are. I'm not a bad man. I am not a hero. I'm definitely not a president. And no, I'm not an officer. You know what I am? I am an idiot with a box and a screwdriver. Just passing through, helping out, learning. What they want to be is an eccentric explorer, but the universe kind of has other ideas for them. Wherever the Doctor lands, there tends to be trouble, and once they find it, they can't help but put things right. The Doctor isn't violent. Sure, they fight monsters, but by being cunning and outwitting their opponents. Over the years, they've gained a reputation for it. Come on! Look at me! No plan, no backup, no weapons worth a damn. Oh, and something else I don't have. Anything to lose. So, if you're sitting up there in your silly little spaceship with all your silly little guns, and you've got any plans on taking the Pandorica tonight, just remember who's standing in your way. Remember! Every black day I ever stopped you, and then, and then, do the smart thing. Let somebody else try first. Whew. Good speech. The Doctor isn't their real name. No one knows what their name actually is. All we know is that they called themselves the Doctor. My name, my real name. That is not the point. The name I chose is the Doctor. The name you choose, it's like, it's like a promise you make. The promise, in the Doctor's case, was to never be cruel or cowardly. And for the most part, they stick to it. That's who they are. That's what they do. But we should probably come back to... I'm a Time Lord. I'm from the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Casterburus. What an intro. The Doctor's species are called the Time Lords. They're a bunch of time-traveling aliens who live on the planet Gallifrey. Or they did. My planet's gone. It's dead. It burned like the Earth. It's just rocks and dust. Before its time. What happened? There was a war and we lost. A war with who? People. I'm a Time Lord. I'm the last of the Time Lords. They're all gone. I'm the only survivor. I'm left travelling on my own because there's no one else. There's me. The Doctor actually managed to save the rest of the Time Lords from being wiped out, but then... So not only are they a Time Lord, they're the last of the Time Lords. Being a Time Lord means a Doctor has two hearts and the ability to regenerate. When a Time Lord is dying, they can change their body into a new one. All Time Lords, the Doctor included, don't have a fixed gender, as it can change with every regeneration. Doctor. I let you go.
Just because they're a lord of time, it doesn't mean that the Doctor can travel through time on their own. They need a time machine. The Doctor's time machine is called the TARDIS, which stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. If you were to look at the Doctor's TARDIS, you might not think it could travel the universe. You might not even think it could move. You really know how to sulk, don't you? I'm not sulking. You live in a box. That's no more a box than you are a governess. Oh, spoken like a man. You know, you're the same as all the rest. Sweet little Clara works at the Rose and Crown. Ideas about their station. Well, for your information, I'm not sweet on the inside, and I'm certainly not... It's called the TARDIS. It can travel anywhere in time and space. And it's mine. Please. Look at this. Go on, say it. Most people do. <laughs> Smaller on the outside. Okay. That is a first. So, it looks like a police box that you'd find on the streets of Britain in the 1950s. It's supposed to be able to blend in seamlessly wherever it lands, but the disguise system, called the chameleon circuit, is broken. They visited the 1960s, and it got stuck like that. The main thing you need to know is that the inside of the TARDIS is way, way bigger than the outside. Pretty cool, right? It's one of the first things people say when they get in there, although the Doctor's never been totally happy with how it's done. Finally. Finally. It's my go. God! Huh? It's bigger! Yes. On the inside. Look, we need to concentrate. There it is. Yeah, I know where you're going with this, but I need you to calm down. On the outside? Oh, you certainly grasped the essentials. My entire understanding of physical space has been transformed! Three-dimensional Euclidean geometry has been torn up for the air and slumped to death! My grasp of the universal constants of physical reality has been changed. Forever. Sorry, I've always wanted to see that done properly. You might be wondering, how does that work? That's a great question. Over to you, Doctor. It's because insides and outsides are not in the same dimension. Which box is larger? That one. Now, which is larger? One. But it looks smaller. Well, that's because it's further away. Exactly. If you could keep that, exactly that distance away, and have it here, the large one would fit inside a small one. That's silly. I don't know. Seems pretty cool to me. And that's it. Those are some of the basics that you need to know. Drop comments below if you think there's anything I've missed. And remember, if you find yourself trapped with something that looks like this... You need the Doctor. And if you need a refresh on who that is, there's always the option for us to... Take it from the top. Hello. I'm the Doctor. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.